So this Vans aircraft can hold up to four people. Vans may be known for aerobatic aircraft, but this is not one of them. But it is a great touring aircraft. Vans built the RV-10 for this purpose, and to quote them directly, it is to transport four people, take off and land short, get there quickly and in comfort, and look great whilst doing it. With tricycle gear and plenty of room in the spacious cabin for four, the RV-10 will take you and the family where you want to go both quickly and in style. This is the first Vans to hold four people. It was first sold in 2003, and a thousand kits have been sold, built and flown as of 2022. The RV-10 has averaged one first flight every two weeks since the day the first kit was sold. If you're one of those people that have built and flown an RV-10, leave your experiences in the comments, I'd like to know. So let's take a look at what the RV-10 can do, how it performs and what it's going to cost to take and to build one of these. It is capable of taking an impressive four adults at the height of six foot four or smaller, of course, on trips of up to 1000 miles at 176 miles per hour with some light baggage into smaller airfields with takeoff landing distances of about 500 to 700 feet. It can, of course, do even better than this with a lighter load of two adults and two kids, or with just two adults and the rear seat backs removed for more baggage space. Useful load is 1,050 pounds, which is 476 kilograms. In fact, short field takeoff and landing with the Lycoming IO 540 260 horsepower engine when lightly loaded is just 360 feet for takeoff and 525 feet for landing. Though the more realistic everyday use, takeoff and landing distances with some weight on board is going to be around 500 feet and 650 feet respectively. It'll hit a service ceiling of 20,000 feet and a top speed of 211 miles per hour. However, a popular economic cruise speed is around 190 miles per hour or 165 knots at 65% power burning around 9.2 gallons per hour at that, which is at 42 liters per hour. The tank itself will hold 60 gallons, that's 272 liters, which is enough to fly for four hours at a cruise speed of 201 miles per hour. The economy cruise at 175 miles an hour will result in an endurance of over five hours with some fuel in reserve. For the full specs, I've provided a link to the Vans VR10 brochure in the description below this video. Just note that the left-hand column is for the 230 horsepower engine and the right-hand column is for the 260 horsepower engine. The ability of the short field landing means that you can land closer to your destination, which gains time over faster aeroplanes that are restricted to paved airports, which might be further away from town. Right, let's take a look at the build process, the safety aspects, and of course, what it's going to cost. It is a monocoque aluminium airframe held together with rivets. All the aluminium components are formed and pre-punctured. So the match hole puncturing technology means that when all the holes line up, the airframe must be in the correct and straight position, which obviously helps greatly with the build process. The main landing gear is also extremely simple, consisting of robust tapered steel rods directly connected to the airframe. You can see Vans drop testing them here on their website. Also, the nose wheel is simple. It's a free castering wheel with taxi steering resulting from differential braking. This simple design is light, cheap, and with minimal drag lets you land on almost any surface. And due to the low stall speed of 53 knots in landing configuration and the short field landing distance required, putting it down in the field during an emergency is a possibility. There is an option for a ballistic parachute from BRS Aerospace, and that can be installed on a completed RV-10 as well as one that's also under construction. But of course it eats into the useful load and baggage capacity at 82 pounds or 37 kilograms. So building the aeroplane requires a modest array of tools and about the room of a two car garage. The build does not require any specific or special skill, but it does require commitment and perseverance with the average build time being around 2,500 hours. You can opt for fuselage and or wing quick build additions if your wallet can take it. The quick build kit should reduce your build time by 25 to 30% and of course save you some emotions no doubt in the build as well. But it will cost you nearly 20,000 US dollars extra. You can play with the prices for the kits on the Vans website. I'll leave a link to that below in the description below this video. 
You're looking at between 60,000 US dollars for the kit or 80,000 US dollars for the quick build kit. All in all, I've seen estimates of about 135,000 to 165,000 to complete the aircraft and a few on the second hand market ranging from 200,000 US dollars to 300,000 US dollars. So have you built or flown an RV-10 or one of its competitors? Leave your experiences in the comments if you have, I'd love to hear it. Also, if you're considering an RV-10, you might want to consider a Cirrus SR-20, an SR-22, a Sling 4 or a Sling TSI, a Cessna 172 or 182, or a Diamond DA-40. That's not an exhaustive list, so if you've got any other recommendations for alternatives to the RV-10, leave a message in the comments. For more videos on general aviation aircraft and their specs and prices and other details, check out my channel because I've got other videos and other aircraft and subscribe because I've got more videos coming out soon. If you like this video, consider hitting the like button. It really helps the channel out. I'd greatly appreciate that. And also, if you want to see a, another video on an aircraft of your recommendation, leave a recommendation in the comments. I'll read that and uh, I might make the next video on it. Thanks for watching.